Hi, thanks for joining us this 4th of July weekend, and today we have a bang up of a show for you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy your holiday weekend with us here on Oklahoma Gardening. Welcome to Oklahoma Gardening with your host, Steve Dobbs. Hi, I'm Steve Dobbs, a former host of Oklahoma Gardening between the years of 1990 and 1995. And I'm back, back to Oklahoma State University, if you will. Actually, this is my third time around. Uh, many of you remember that I got an undergraduate degree here in horticulture many years ago and then of course my second time was as the host but I've just recently come back about three years ago 2010 as manager of grounds and landscaping for the campus here uh, it's a great opportunity and exciting things are happening at OSU uh, many things on campus but one of the things of course now is an emphasis on campus beautification thank to the thanks to the vision of our president Hargis uh, and Mrs. Hargis but we're putting emphasis on the grounds and landscaping. There's a lot of research that shows students sometimes make up their mind in the first 15 minutes that they step foot on campus. So our first impression is very important and it's an exciting time to be a part of that. It all started really with a landscape master plan revision back in 2010. And that's helping us direct some of these new projects that were uh, starting on campus some of the new uh, wider sidewalks, new streetscapes that have beautification in mind, a lot of color going in and new landscape projects and then some big ones uh, that are being designed of course too. But one of the things that we're really trying to do is when people are on campus, whether a student or an alumni or a visitor just coming to campus, we want to make it an inviting place for them but also educational. So we're starting to put some signs on campus and using new technology with a QR code that helps people learn and identify some of the plant material on campus, whether it's shrubs or flowers in the formal garden or even some of our unique trees on campus. And speaking of trees, we're proud to say that we're now a Tree Campus USA as deemed by the Arbor Day Foundation. And what that means is with our sustainability mission, we're just taking trees serious. We have a tree care plan, an advisory board, a budget, and again, just doing a better job of planting and taking care of the trees on campus. So that's, that's an exciting new thing as well. And then of course, a lot of new splashes of color and interesting things to showcase the talents of my staff members one of which we introduced just uh, my first year here, which was a topiary cowboy boot. And how appropriate is that for Oklahoma State? You can see it's quite large. It's very extravagant piece. It was welded by one of my staff members in design, uh, but it's got drip irrigation in it, potting soil, and then an assortment of different plant material. We bring it out in the spring after the chance of frost, keep it out all growing season, and then it has to go back in during the winter time in the greenhouse. This one was exciting enough and drew enough interest that we decided to do another one this year and introduced a cowboy hat topiary that's placed on campus just a few weeks ago for the first time. And the unique story to that one is one of our uh, staff members had a contact with Garth Brooks and he sent us a cowboy hat, a hat that he wore actually on the centennial stage when he introduced Reba, so it had a special meaning to him. And we scanned that hat in and then blew up the scale of that hat, welded a new topiary and made a topiary that's an exact replica of one of OSU's famous alumni alumnus Garth Brooks. So that one's on campus. If you come by, we hope you'll see that too. Let's go take a look at some of the other designs on campus. Well, 
welcome to the newly installed Price Gardens here just outside the entrance of the Atherton next to the Student Union at Oklahoma State University. We're really excited about this garden because this is our first donor funded garden that we've done since I've been back on campus. And again, the exciting part is all of the design including the garden landscape and the fountain was all custom to design by my staff so I couldn't be more proud of them. And the garden is really intended to be a garden to honor our mothers. And if you notice on the fountain behind me, the donors are Stuart and Linda Price out of Tulsa. And again, we've got a Latin uh, phrase on the fountain that really stands for we honor our mothers, which is, couldn't be more appropriate here at campus. But when you think of mom and grandma, you always think of kind of an ornamental edible or edible garden. And so that's really what we've tried to do here with kind of a formal knot garden, if you will. Uh, we've got lots of edibles, germander and parsley and tomatoes, all kinds of things that you would expect to see. Some edible flowers and very showy perennials that you might see as well. And the thing that we're gonna try that's so unique about this garden, a lot of the vegetables and herbs that will be harvested will be used in the Ranchers Club inside the Atherton uh, at the restaurant. So we're excited to try that a little bit too. Um, this is just one of the many gardens that we have planned for a future uh, donor possibility. So if you've not been to Oklahoma State University lately, you sure wanna come. Please send your kids, of course, too. And it's been fun to come back and try to host. Uh, Kim, you're doing a good job. And thank you for the opportunity. Go Pokes.